Uh, in this video we're going to show how to use HBHF sensors. Uh, also included is a delay on the uh, garage doors so the turrets have time to power up. Uh, there's also an alarm should the turret get, uh, should the HBHF sensor get taken out and that's replicating it by disconnecting one of the sensors. We'll reconnect it. Now we'll show how we open it uh, on demand. See near the turrets powering up and it's opens and the turrets are on already. Just turn that off. Now we'll uh, replicate the sensors picking me up by changing this so I recognise authorised people. And then we can hear the power powering up and there goes the doors. So you've literally got very little time to react. And just put it back. To take this opportunity to ask if you can uh, like and subscribe and maybe comment I'd be grateful thank you I'm going to split this up into sections to make it easier this is the uh, main power switch right so I've already uh, placed the battery uh, so we can uh, Right, so we'll start by putting down our two branches, our switch for turning on and off, our all switch, and then followed by an AND switch. Right, now we'll just connect the uh, first branch up to the battery. And then connect this branch to the next one. Right, this one we set to a value of 1, and this one we set to a 12. Uh, we'll explain why a bit later on. Right, so this one goes all the way down to your smart switch. And then from the smart switch up to your OR. And then from the OR switch, we'll just change the color of the wire, we'll go back, go to the AND switch. On the second branch, we take it from the right hand side and we go across to the AND switch. And that completes the main power switch. Right, on to the next bit. Right, the next stage is the motion sensors and the tampering alarm. Right, so uh, we'll start off with the switch so we can turn off the entire sensors and just rely on the manual opening. Now, this then put down a branch with two splitters. Uh, next, we'll place the uh, motion sensors. Uh, we're doing four at the moment, so it could be north, east, south, west. Right, so uh, I think uh, next, I think we will connect the power up to this first. Uh, we'll just choose blue, maybe. Yeah, blue. And that goes all the way to the second branch that we put in on the main switch, which is 12 coming out of that. And then we need to take the uh, power from the switch and put it into the branch. Right, I'll just change the colour. Oh, this needs to be set to 1. Right, change the colour to green. And then we take both of those out and we put them into uh, the splitters. Right. right, we'll just change it to yellow. And then we're going to connect the first two of the splitter to the first two motion sensors. And then we're going to take this side and connect these to the other, other two. Right, now we're going to uh, connect stuff to this using branches to give us a warning of when these uh, sensors get taken out, or if they get taken out. So we put up two branches. Alright, we set both of these to two, or just don't bother changing them. And then we're going to connect this spare one on the splitter up to these each of these branches. So 
The reason we actually uh, do this is so that if one of the centers gets taken out, you will have uh, the sixth coming into these splitters split over just two sockets. So it'll put three down. So it'll put an additional power down those branches. And we're going to utilize that. And now we put down an OR switch and an AND switch. Right. So the next part is we take the power out of the, both of these, which is the uh, right hand side, and uh, we put it into the OR switch. This is where uh, if one of the uh, sensors is taken out, it will send a, uh, a signal of one down to the OR switch. And then we're going to take one of the two out of uh, the left hand side, doesn't matter which branch you take it from, and we're going to put that into the AND switch. So we're now using uh, two power if we connect the OR switch to it. So if it sends through a one signal, a one power, it will uh, up it to two. Right, now we're going to put down the uh, smart, smart alarm, which you can uh, wire up to Rust Plus, and also a visual alarm, which is just a blue flashing light. So then we connect the AND switch. Down to your smart alarm. And then from your smart alarm through to your uh, flashing light. That's the sensor. So we can tell whether the um, HBHF uh, sensors have been taken out. Let's move on to uh, the circuit where uh, the HBHF sensors get set off. So we're going to put in... Uh, three OR switches and then we're going to connect the outputs of the sensors to the three bottom uh, OR switches try and make this fairly tidy we are going to need to put in a digital circuit board here we don't want to use up too much space and make it easily visible Right, and then we're going to connect both of these to the OR switch above it. Try and get the wire nice and tidy. Or tidy-ish. Right, and then we connect this all the way across to the OR switch, which is on the main switch. I'll just tidy that up as well. Go. And that's the sensor part of it done. Oh, this is going to be the simplest part, which is the turret setup. So uh, we're going to put up two branches. If you're going to put up more than just two turrets, you'll need an additional branch. So we set the first one to 20, and then the next one to 10. So it'll put 10 out down each side. So we connect this one, the left hand side, around to this branch. And then we're going to connect this all the way around to the uh, power switch. So that's up down to here. And then we're going to connect each of these to the turrets. Right, and uh, I think we'll go and test it. See both turrets are coming on. So we'll just turn that off and move along to the next bit. And now the final part, which is the uh, delayed door opening. So for this, we're going to place uh, two branches, a timer, then a blocker, and finally a branch. Right, 
So we'll just I'll connect the power from this down. Actually, we'll uh, keep it fairly tidy. Now this one we set to two. This next one we set to one. And then this final one we set to one as well. Right, so this comes out. Where is it? That's so do it with an orange. This will go all the way along to the timer. So it's a power in on the timer. And then from the power out on the timer, we're going to put that into the blocker. And then we're going to take it from the uh, first branch. That's, actually, we're going to change that to red. So that's down to the uh, next branch. And then the power out, which is the left hand side, right hand side, sorry. We put all that all the way down to the blocker. And then the left hand side of this one, we're going to put into the timer so we activate it. And then from this one, which is the blocker, we then put it into the last branch, which is to control the doors. So this go up. So if we want to increase the amount of uh, doors we want to open, uh, we just add branches and and uh, tell the first first branch to be one more. So instead of uh, two, it'll be three or four or five. Right. So we'll close these doors. We'll activate it. Hmm. Ah. I've um, not set the timer, so it's a default of 10 seconds, so we'll change that. Put that down to 3 seconds. And then we'll try it again. Now what should happen is the turrets are power on, and then once the turrets are powered up, the doors will open. And there we go. I'm probably going to record a video tomorrow about how to integrate this into the uh, dual turret pod that I've done before.